Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in for another very special episode of Manifestation Monday. So the law of attraction is essentially like a science. The more you apply these tips and tricks to your life, the more you learn about how to utilize law of attraction, the quicker you can manifest things you want into your life. So today I want to talk about inspired action. Now there's some of you out there who might be complete and total skeptics when it comes to using the law of attraction because you think the concept is just silly. I can't sit on my couch and wish for something and wish for it and wish for it and then the universe is going to conspire to bring it to me. You are right. You're going to get nowhere without having inspired action. Now, if you're looking at law of attraction like a science equation, it's basically your wish plus inspired action equals manifesting. So I'm going to give you an example of how I have used inspired action to get where I've wanted to get in my life. So if you look at my last video, I talk about living in that end goal. When you're working on manifesting something, it is so important to live in that end goal because that is where that inspired part of the action comes in. Now, when I made the decision to play professional golf, I was a senior in college and I still had one more year left of college before I graduated. So I was playing on my college golf team, playing in college events, but what I did was essentially, I knew I wanted to play professional golf as soon as I graduated, so I started treating myself like a professional golfer. I started training as a professional golfer would. I started showing up to tournaments, which some were even professional events that I just signed up as an amateur. But I would show up to these events whether I was playing in a college tournament, playing in an amateur tournament, or playing in a professional tournament as an amateur. And I would treat myself as if I were a professional golfer. I'm dressing the part, I'm acting the part, I'm training the part. So basically I took on that persona and what came out of it was what you would call inspired action. I was already treating myself like the professional that I wanted to become. A lot of times we can get caught up in a process in which we are focused on getting to that end goal instead of living in it. So this could mean that you are sitting there and saying, well, I'm not there yet, but when I get there, I'll start doing this. Or when I become this, you basically have to be in a mindset that you already are there and you have to act as if you would, if you were living in that end goal. Now this is going to make it so much easier to manifest what you want into your life because you're already putting out half the energy. The universe has to basically match you where you're at. So another example of how to use inspired action is if I want to be a YouTuber with a million subscribers, which if you have not yet subscribed, click that little button in the corner and turn on those bell notifications. If I want to be a YouTuber with a million subscribers, then my inspired action is doing exactly this. Posting, constantly putting out content. What do other million subscriber YouTubers do on a daily basis? How are they releasing their content? What are they doing? It's good to study other people, whether it's a mentor, whether it's somebody you just admire, somebody you look up to that is in the field that you want to be in. So the more we start acting out of the place of living in the end goal, living as if we are already where we want to be, the universe is going to match that energy. You're going to be able to see big shifts happening in your life. The more the universe will bring you more opportunities and you exude a certain type of energy that allows for things to flow to you more easily. So thank you guys so much for tuning in again this week. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, share it, Just leave me a comment, let me know what you think and what you'd like to hear more about. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Some of the